on a journey. Headed to another Marble City Comic Con event. We'll see how this one goes. This is the official one. The other one was just kind of a smaller one. We'll see how it goes. Oh, his tail moves, yeah. Ross here, um, East Tennessee Sci-Fi and Cosplay, along with uh, Battle Cat Cosplay, who are floating around here somewhere. Um, we've decided to put on uh, what's called Conapalooza. It is a second show for us, and we've had to move over to the Metaview Convention Center in Kingsport, Tennessee. And our dates are October 12th through the 14th. What we are is we're a brand new fandom. We do comics, we do gaming, we do cosplay. We bring in celebrity guests and we're open 24 hours so when our vending hall closes we have nighttime programming going all the time more adult themed stuff so after nine o'clock please put your kids up in the room if you're staying otherwise that's on you but uh it's very affordable if you buy your passes right now on the internet on conopalooza.com it's 30 dollars for the full weekend that basically boils down to 10 dollars a day for three days of nothing but fun we'd love to see you come out to the metaview Convention Center and Resort in Kingsport, Tennessee, October 12th through the 14th of 2018. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. I'm really glad I got to chat with him about that convention. Not only because he seems so passionate about it, but it seems like a lot of fun. And three days, three full days of nerdy fun for $30, that sounds like a good deal. I'm going to check my calendar and see and if I can go, I'm going to try and go to that because it looks like a lot of fun. You know, things like that and the Marble City Comic Con and the Fanboy Expo, if you enjoy that st kind of stuff, you really need to support them because when I was growing up, we didn't have conventions anywhere near this exciting. They're kind of boring, but it's almost like a golden age for conventions around here. So those of us that love the nerdy side, we should probably try and support them. I went to this convention with a couple of friends. One of them was Joe. I meant to talk with him more and kind of introduce him better. I did get one clip with him that was right before the costume contest, and I'll go ahead and show that one now, and we'll try and get him on again, let him introduce himself a little better. Let's see what he had to say, though. So, Joe, what do you think about the convention so far? That's not too shabby. It's a cool little convention. Uh, never been to this building before, so it's a pretty cool costume. Yeah, looks cool like, boots. Looks like a lot more costumes. I didn't. This is the first time here. We came last year, right? Uh, I've been to Fanboy. I haven't oh, been okay. to this one before. From where I looked it up, it looked like there weren't as many costumes the last couple of years. It looks like it's getting bigger here. It's a lot of fun, though. Oh, and you can tell that there's a lot of people from out of, uh, out of the area and just uh, a bunch of cool costumes. Everything from throwback to current. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff I've never even seen before. Yeah, there's a lot more mashup stuff, too, I've noticed. Well, the mashup, two different properties and create one costume out of it. I guess that's kind of the new trend, the new trendy thing going on right now. Yeah. I think we're gonna go in here and check out this costume contest and see what we can find out. We're back. Let's hear it. Don't bet my contestants can beat that. As usual, they've outdone themselves with costuming this year. We have the Novice Division, 
we have an intermediate division. We have an advanced division and we have the groups today. And let me tell you something. These guys are here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and they are all out of bubble gum. John Wilbur. Steampunk Air Engineer. I missed recording some of the costume contest because my phone actually ran out of memory and I had to delete a few videos and pictures and stuff to make room and then I started filming again. I couldn't show the whole thing anyway because I don't want this video to be too long and it's I have over 30 minutes of costume contest. I hope I show you guys enough that you enjoy what you see, give you kind of a feel of what I saw. You know, I have actually 
I think I just looked and it's about 96 gigs of pictures and videos on this phone. I guess I kind of have a problem and I need to start deleting what I can. Let's continue more with some more of this costume contest. Come on up. Round of applause for everybody. This is going to be your winners. We're going to go ahead and get everybody up here. So get your cameras. You'll be able to get a shot of all the winners up here, okay? And when I say all the winners, it's not just them. All of you, congratulations. Great job. Come out next year. Let's make it even bigger and better. 2019. And the judges said to throw out some props to some of the most innovative costumes they've seen. Excellent work, all of you. Okay, move it down, move it down. It's just like school. Tall in the back, short in the front. We got it. If they, you can't see them, they can't see you. I found a nerdy grab bag mystery box, so you know I had to get it. In the mystery box? Yeah, mystery box is going to contain uh, anything from graphic novels, comic books, action figures, pop vinyls, mm. just pop culture swag, all kinds of neat stuff. Well, thanks a lot. You yeah. guys know I love my mystery boxes. All right, I'm gonna open up this box I got from the Marvel City Comic Con and see what we got inside. As you know, I love these mystery boxes. I love any sort of a grab bag situation. And this one's supposed to have a lot of nerdy fun stuff. I'm gonna pop it open and we'll find out together what we've got. As I can get it open. We got something better to open it with, I guess. Wow. Well, I had to cut into it. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, lots of weird looking stuff. We got the Walking Dead Chronicles. We got little Star Wars notebook. Got a little scroll of some sort of poster. So, Star Wars. Um, I don't want just Star Wars cartoons. It might be Rebels or one of those kind of, one of the cartoons. It's stickers, big stickers. There's a game eraser, that's pretty cool. It's an actual eraser, and it looks like a little handheld game. We got, got a Darth Vader tin. I got a R2D2, I guess it's a knot light, it lights up. That's fun. I got an Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Looks like it's for collectible cards, probably. It's like an album. I got a Lex Luthor toy. Looks like it would have been included with a some sort of a kid's meal. I got a Harry Potter book. Oh, it's like a journal. <laughs> Got a mystery bag here. I don't know if that's a mystery bag. <laughs> Apparently it's my little ponies. <laughs> a little comb to brush them with. And a pop figure. 
pull an AT-AT driver. That's actually pretty fun. So here's my fortune that I got from my mystery box. It's always fun to open them together. I'm sure I'll get another one one day and we'll see what we get next time. Thank you guys for opening it with me. So in conclusion, I just hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know that there are a lot of YouTubers who were probably there and they were probably made better videos than me on this. This is just my take on it and what I experienced. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll always respond and I will see you next t-shirt. Just wanted to let you guys know that if you want to see more of the costume contest, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get something out. Thanks.